IGCFC Computer Science Syllabus Statement 1.3.5b. And actually, before we continue, um, 1.3.5b is actually pretty short when I look at it. It's, I mean, it, it's shorter than output devices or input devices, but um, it's still still stuff to learn. Um, and uh, yeah, but still quite short. So, um, and actually, our, the next topic, which is um, operating systems, is much shorter. Um, it's not. It's, it's not really just operating systems. It's more operating systems, interrupts, buffers, and all that. Um, and then there's um, high low level languages, which is only going to take like two videos. So we're pretty much almost done with topic three. We just have this one, then um, solid state, and then um, optical offline, and then um, magnetic and solid it's, and solid state um, offline as well. And then we have operating systems, and uh, then we have interrupts and buffers, and then we have um, high low level languages, and then we have translators, and that's it for topic three. We're almost there, guys. All right, so I think I've wasted enough time talking about that. Let's jump into HDD. So, um, hard disk drive is a common secondary storage method which makes use of magnetic disks to store data. So, basically, what happens is um, data is stored in um, a digital format on the magnetic surfaces um, of the disks, or we're going to refer to them as platters, because um, that's what they usually that's what they're usually called. They kind of look like this, and as you can see, um, if you can see really closely here, the these are read write heads, and you can see that there are a number of them, which means that there are a number of platters here, but you can't really see that. So a typical hard disk drive will have a number of platters, which can spin around 700, sorry, 7,000, 700, I don't know, um, 7,000 times per second. Um, usually each platter has two surfaces to store data. A number of read-write heads have access to the surfaces of the, of the platters. And typically, they can move from the center of a platter to the edge and back again 50 times a second. Um, I don't know if I should consider that fast, because like I mean, physically it is fast, but it can be slow, and we'll we'll look at that. Um, on the platters, um, data is stored in sectors and tracks. Each sector um, has a fixed number of bytes. Now it's important that we know um, what we mean by sector. So let's look at a platter. So here we have A, B, C, and D. So A is the track, the pink thing right here. B is the geometrical sector. Now, this is what we mean. Here's the confusing part. Now, we mean this is, this is the geometrical sector. So if you imagine a circle, this would be the sector of um, a circle. But we don't mean the geometrical sector when we say sector in platters. We mean the track sector right here, this small part right here, the sector of a track. So that's what we mean by sector. So instead of like sectors like these, we have sectors like these. So we have a bunch of sectors for each track. And that's what we mean by that. And um, just to avoid any confusion. Um, and D is a cluster, but we don't need to know about that. The real disadvantage of HDDs is latency. Now latency is pretty much um, the time taken for um, a block of data on a track to rotate around um, to the read write head. Um, and this is a disadvantage because since many applications require the read write heads to look for the correct sectors to read or write data, a big number of head movements are required. Um, does that make sense? A big number of head movements are required. I don't think that makes sense. Should be a big number of head movements is required. Um, anyway, you get the point. <laughs> so, um, you may notice this effect when you see messages such as "please wait" or "not responding." So that there, you can see an effect of um, latency because it, it takes time to write data, and in extreme cases, it uh, it doesn't really respond. So that's pretty much it for um, hard disk drives, and we'll look at solid state drives in the next video and we're going to see how um, they avoid this latency problem.